Hello, I'm a extra guy and welcome back to the video. Today we're to talk about Title Update 60, the update that just came out for Minecraft on the console, because it was a, you know, again, medium-sized update. I think we've all got comes to come to terms the fact that this update wasn't as big as some of the updates we've seen in the past, but a lot of people then say, oh, there was nothing in this update, there's nothing new you can do this update. I'm really just excited to see when something revolutionary comes out. And although I understand this viewpoint, one of the things I figured I would show up in today's video, because, uh, you know, what I saw the most amazing build that made me realize that the amount of creativity you can do with any new option in Minecraft is crazy, but in today's video, I'm be showing you four brand new builds you couldn't make before this update that are really fun and that you might want to play around with and that you might be able to customize a bit more. Again, uh, three of them are just kind of basic concepts and the fourth one will blow your mind, so make sure you stay around for that. But first, please do like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and lets know you do enjoy these sorts of videos. I want to see more of these kind of update inspiration videos in future. So with that said, let's get straight into the very first one here and it's going to do with one of the secret features in the update actually, which is to do with the fact that you can bone mill sugar cane. So if you don't know this one yet, it wasn't on the changelog at all. This is why secret feature videos are important, but you can actually bone mill sugarcane like you can on the bedrock version. Why is this so important? Well, if you set up something like this, it's a really basic thing. It's like, uh, again, this is very messily done. I just kind of set this up in creative very quickly, but all you need to do is have a dispenser, which can bone mill, uh, so as you can see, fill dispenser, bone milling the uh, sugarcane as it goes down. And then what you want to have is have a piston and then have a simple circuit hooked up. So the, you know, the dispenser goes off, then the piston goes off and then have that go on a loop. And basically let me show you what this looks like right now. So we're going to place this down quickly remove it, make sure it doesn't go on a loop. And as you can see, now we have a very quick looping of making sugarcane grow and then getting it knocked off by a piston. What is the build you can make of this? An automatic sugarcane harvester. So instead of having, let's say, you know, a world height sugarcane farm, something silly like that, instead what you can just do now is you can have, a, you know, an automatic farm and you can sit there and you can collect it manually, which is kind of fun. Or you can cover the area in hoppers, have all of those hoppers go to a singular chest. And now you're going to see just how much that can do. So 34 already, 36. And now you can have all of your sugarcane needs covered by just one plant and a little bit of redstone. Again, even if you don't necessarily need all the sugar cane in the world, it's still pretty fun to make and it's pretty, uh, you know, interesting to look at. And yeah, now you can automate sugar cane like you could never do before. So let's move on to the second uh, build that you can't make. Also, we'll come back here later on the video because we're already at almost the stack. Uh, and as soon as this goes further, it'll probably get a bit more. Uh, but let's move on to the second thing you can do now, which is extra decorations in the floor. So as you can see, uh, this is just some normal stairs, uh, stone stairs, but you can actually have like little bits of cobblestone or little bits of stone or little bits of anything poking through the floor, which is actually kind of a big deal. You can use this for any block if you want to, and you might be able to work out what's going on here. Maybe you can't, but yeah, the simple answer is that this is an uh, armor stand. So yeah, now you can add way more decorations to the game. You know how people always do that thing with buttons, where they're like, buttons are rocks, and you have to be like, well, I mean, buttons look nothing like rocks, actually. Well, this is kind of like that, right? It's also, we accidentally placed block there. So yeah, what's going on here is we have the new armor stand poses, making them go into the sky. We have a block on the second half of the armor stand, and this means that the block just kind of goes through the ceiling off the thing. And this is, uh, let's show you how this works. Again, I have no done this live and so well let's give this a little try here so we just go a few blocks up like this and we want to have a block here uh, and then a block go above the uh, the head of the thing and then just above that you can have a piston just up here so in case you're not sure how that will look it's going to look something like okay so we place up <laughs> on who we have to okay so again doing this in uh, survival for the first time going to be a little bit rough but you want to have a block up here a piston facing down like that. So we have four pistons facing down like this. We can now do that for the other things. Again, for the last one, we which won't bother. And this means that you can now place the block into there, which means if we then place uh, again, a little bit of wood into all of these armor stands things, then we can have a little bit of wood poking up through there. And again, this works with any block in the game. It's just, and you can do a whole bunch of different things, but you can essentially have your block going into the sky like that. There's a few poses where it gets kind of close like that too. Uh, but yeah, basically if we just place a lot of them like this, we have them all placing their block into the sky. Their block goes above them, which means if we then piston them, which we can now do. So let's, um, I guess we'll make a little staircase up there. Uh, let's now place uh, some uh, a redstone torch here. Then now, now what we're going to do, well, after we push these blocks, uh, there should be an extra space because otherwise they won't stay down. But once you push the block down, so again, we should probably go up an extra level. But you get the basic point that you can now, if we, if we leave them there, so they stay like this, and then you can see the block through the ceiling. The end result of this, if you actually, you know, have them left there, uh, because pistons can push something and then leave them there, if you use a regular piston, or if you use two layers of piston blocks, is you can then have this basic thing where, guess what, the cobblestone they have, or whatever block you want them to have, it can be wood if you really like, uh, would actually stick through the ceiling instead, which is kind of wonderful if you ask me. So, okay, so as you can see, we take this uh, cobblestone off them, and we can put some wood on there, and then it does something like that. You can have any block appear through any other block, which is such a big deal for people who like detail 
sell, you know how people non-stop ask for like quarter slabs or this slabs or that slabs, then that's something you want to see. The third one here, again, we're going to move on to the amazing one later. You can probably work out what it is because of the size of that. But let's move on to the third build you can make now, which is essentially firing arrow, you know, firing things into people, or you can fire out fireworks and make them stop at a certain place. So one of the changes in this update, again, not a secret feature, but a useful feature, is the fact that firework dispensers can now launch sideways. As you can see, that firework launches sideways and it will actually stop on anything it hits. And because they go dead center, or a dispenser fires dead center, this means even something as small as this can stop a firework. So if you want to stop a firework at a specific location, or you want to use uh, pistons to determine where about a firework will land, you can do that, you can use this, and you can do that in that certain way. I think that's kind of cool by itself. Look, we can have a creep face always spawn at the exact same point tied into a redstone system, maybe tied into that redstone system. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of cool by itself, but you can also use this to shoot directly at people. So if I stand directly here, for instance, you can make it so it looks like something's firing through you, and that's kind of terrifying to look at. Like, it's a fun effect to have, and it's something you didn't get to experience before this update. Look, there is an arrow firing through me. Uh, if I go a little bit further back, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's scary, and you can probably use it to make some traps seem like they're trapping. Also, you can set this up for redstone. There's a bunch of different cool things you can do with this that maybe you didn't do before. So let's go on to the final one here, the one that I've been kind of teasing you with, the whole time. Uh, this is the reason I am on a random waltz, because this was set up by Casey. She is uh, one of the long-term subscribers of the channel and also a moderator from the live streams. So maybe you recognize that. And what, uh, uh, one of the things I said in my live stream was like, oh yeah, well you could use this dying cauldron thing theoretically to make something like a toy cat logo if you wanted to. And guess what? You might not be able to spot it just now, but this is in fact a toy cat logo. And the coolest thing about this is not just the fact that if we switch ourselves over to creative, so Kauza Alza is her game attack. Uh, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I just had to come and see it in person. But but look, this is a toy cat face made with these blocks in Survivor. So in case you look at the cauldrons, you're like, oh, you can dye water. What's the point in that? In case that's how you feel about it, guess what? The, the amount of creativity you have is not as great as it probably should be. Because seriously, look at this thing. It's just absurd seeing <laughs> that this thing was generally recreated one for one in Minecraft. Uh, that's 64 by 64 um, off these things, which I can't actually, I, I think on the top of my head, that's like 2,000 something. So 64 to the power of two, actually. Let's work that out. That is 4,000 and 96 cauldrons, uh, supposedly. Um, but basically, uh, I, I think it's actually done in 32 by 32, though. But my point being is, like, if you by using this many cauldrons, you can make crazy images like this take place. And the even cooler thing, in my opinion, is the fact that, you know, this looks great by itself. Uh, the fact that this uses, like, perfect use of layering. So you can see when two colors blend together, it's, like, white, then a bit of gray. Uh, it's red, then a bit of white. It's, you know, slightly pinker colors for the nose. There's all these impressive things in terms of, like, how you make something like this work. I really thought this was crazy impressive. But then also, if I show you on screen right now, what happens when I load it in the world, it also loads in in this really fascinating way that nothing else loads in before. So guess what? It's artwork that you can make with the new feature that also has the side benefit of, um, it also has the side benefit of being able to, uh, you know, really wow people when they first load in the world. Also, if you really want to, for certain potions, so for instance, uh, this over here, for instance, if you wanted to, again, I'm, I'm not going to ruin it too much, but what you can actually do is you can use potions for all these things, and you can have certain areas glow upwards. So if I show you right here, for instance, again, it's not the same green, it's a close green, you'll see how this one potion has like little sparkling effects coming off it, which the other ones do not, or at least, yeah, there you can see. So yeah, that means that you can have certain parts of it glow, you can do puzzles, you can do so many crazy things when you just, well, again, when you expand your creativity beyond like, here's a thing you can do like that, the number of things you can do with this update are actually pretty crazy, and again, I want to clarify, like this wasn't the biggest update in the world, but this update has a lot more than perhaps you give it credit for. So with that said, um, also, look at that right there, with that said, um, I want to quickly just show you how much sugar cane we got just this episode. We have almost 10 stacks of sugar cane and, uh, you know, our, our bone mill re uh, reserves aren't running that dry. So if we throw all of that in there, then it will run and we'll get some another 10 stacks in the next 10 minutes. So I hope you did all this video. Hopefully it did inspire you in some way to make any one of these things or just realize that, like, there's so much more to an update than you first realize. Um, I hope you did all this video. Like if you did like it because it helps out the channel. And let's know you do, like, giant things like this. I'm still, like... A little bit like blown away by like, whoa, that's a real thing. Uh, share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, the further out you get, by the way, the better like resolution gets until eventually it like kind of fades out. Because, you know, actually, I want to spend just another like 20 seconds here. I, I know it's the end of the video, but guess what? I want to keep talking. So, yeah, basically, as you can see, like uh, when you go to certain different angles, you get like different effects on it where it's like more gray from here and more granular uh, from there but also from up here the the lines kind of fade out as you get apart it's like a pixel tv but like made from dyed cauldrons it's crazy in my opinion and it's something you can do in the latest update so i hope you all enjoyed this video like if you liked it share if you really liked it subscribe if you're around here make sure you turn on notifications so you see these videos daily on your homepage. and i'll see you all next time bye